All right, here we go. If this fan could talk right now, it would probably say something like, for the love of God, you two, would you please let me die? guys welcome back to the channel James here we got a little bit of impromptu maintenance going on my sister was on her way to the property and her vehicle overheated we ended up having to take her some water to fill the engine back up so it's got a leak and today we're gonna find out where it's leaking from stick around it's gonna be fun let's do it all right first things first we got to make some room in this garage Cover on. All right, here we go. If this fan could talk right now, it would probably say something like, for the love of God, you two, would you please let me die? What's that? Well, she hasn't she hasn't driven it in a week or two weeks. Rust over there was sitting there. They were stuck on. They had to give it a good shot of gas. And it broke loose. Yep. Dodge Caravans and their friggin' brakes. Terrible. They work good for about a week after doing them, and then something else goes terribly wrong. Yeah, it's fine. Like I found a receipt for this. For what? For um, rear calipers, I think. Didn't, what did we do last? I feel like we just did caliper on this thing. Trunks, maybe. Shield off too. Let me get some axle stands for the YouTube safety police. <laughs> you, sir, are an idiot. That vehicle could fall over on you at any moment. Yep. Let it down slowly for me. Perfect. I'll do the other side now, just so that it sits even, or should we just leave it? it? I don't like them sitting goofy like that. I'm gonna jack up the other side too. for me to get this under though. Goodness, I'm so safe. I'm so safe. Look at those axle stands. Oh, we should have cracked those loose before we uh, jacked it up. So, it's almost like I've made that mistake before.
What size is that? You have something that's just just bigger? I think we can probably stop using the locking lug nuts. I don't think anybody wants to steal this rim. No, bigger. <laughs> the outer jackets on these lug nuts eventually start to rust and they swell with the rust. This is just a, like a decorative coating that's on top of this. That one's rusted so bad it's actually bigger. 21, I can, that was 20 you gave me before? 19, there's no 20. There's no 20? What's closest to 20 in Imperial? Well, it just goes from three quarters to 13, 16. I mean, I can hammer on the three quarter, I guess, but might be a pain in the butt to get off. There's combination three quarter and one end. Definitely not. Definitely not three quarters. That one feels like it might not be too bad. But now I need an, I just, uh, an extended... What do you call those? Extension? I can't talk this morning. No. Do you have a proper one? Geez, it's almost like it needs to be square all the way through. Ah, oh, that'll probably work. Yeah. That did it. That's true. That one I don't think I used. See, it's like those, we've just done this recently. That pad is brand new, that rotor's, everything looks brand new in here. And the rears that are making the noise. Yeah, it's just a little bit of surface rust on everything. Um, so I need to pull the, all those plugs, all these plastic plugs and take this wheel well liner off. Well, it's just this thing. Just that one? Yeah. So, I, okay, so just that just one that there one, then and whatever else is underneath. Whatever is underneath. Okay. Okay. Do we have a, a pry thing to get those off? Four of them is the only, the only four. Or even just needle nose pliers or something, I don't know. Probably where it's leaking. Oh well, let's put some water in it and start the damn thing. Well, just put water in and pressurize it. It's I can see where it's leaking already, I think. What? From that hose? It's coming from like it's dripping off of the bottom of that pipe, but I think it's coming from the the actual fitting where it where it actually pushes in. It's probably one of those water pipe fittings that has a, an O-ring on it. And it just pushes into a socket on the block. Yeah, but you just touch that pipe and it's gonna crack and break and rust all the pieces. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so we just order that pipe. It's two bolts and, and a hose clamp. 
That's all. We hope. Yeah, we hope. So what do you want? Yeah, we'll just put a bit of water in. Oh, you're just gonna pressurize it. Yeah. Don't need to start. Isn't that it's fancy? For nothing. Where'd you pull that fancy tool out of? Yeah, my toolbox. You're holding out on me. I can't tell if that's on or not. Well, you'll find out if when you pump it, it, we can hear it. So what kind of uh, PSI should a, a coolant system be able to hold? 15 pounds. Anywhere. Well, because there's no water in there at all, you'll have a hell of a time getting the... You can see the water in it. Oh yeah, it's leaking. It's... Oh yeah, pinhole leak. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, so that pipe... I wonder if that's a dealer item or... I don't know. Probably. That's so funny. Really. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a pretty, it should be a fairly easy fix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't I put that pipe on mine before I got rid of it? I don't know. Something like that. The next thing is you're going to be able to get the bolts out without them breaking. Yes. They don't look like they're in bad Either shape. That I'll, one. You know, I'll spray the crap out of them right now. Sure. Good old PB blaster. Open bulb fire hazard trouble light, I see. <laughs> LED. Boom. For hey. I resemble that comment. Okay. Okay, what do you suppose those sizes are? Uh, they look bigger than 10 mil. They look bigger than 10 mil, but let's give it a whirl. That is a crusty looking pipe right there. Oh wow, that is a fancy thing. Yep, much bigger, like 13. 13? Well. That's my guess. <clears throat> Everybody in the States is going 13? No, I think 13. Metric, you think? Yeah. 13 it is. Oh God. Ye of little faith. What's that? So just put all my weight on it? Yeah, like you usually do. Break it. it came loose like nothing. Uh, Piece of cake. Either that or it required hardly any effort at all to shear the head of the bolt off. Oh, yeah. This next one. Fit right under. To catch water? Yeah, just so it doesn't make that. That one came undone easy, easy as well. Well, this is far too easy. It's just normal for dodge. For yeah, it's, it's a regular regular dodge situation here. All the all the nuts and bolts just rattle themselves loose. So by the time you come to work on something, half the job's done. That's it. Yep. One bolt on the back? Yep. yep, that's 
serious? Yeah, that's all. Like I say, the only thing that holds these things, the only thing that holds the water in is the actual O-ring that pushes into the housing on the block. And then there's just one bolt that just retains the, just holds the pipe in place. <laughs> I'll need a big pair of, uh, big pair of pliers in order to undo this clamp. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> or vice grips, or not vice grips, yeah, vice grips would probably work. Oh, These might do. Yeah. I, mean, I do have other ones, but I don't know where they are. What's that? So you got it out? Not yet. Can I have a Please. flat a flathead screwdriver? How big? Uh, like l large, but not long. Oh, you mean like that too long? No, that would probably be okay. Let's see if I can pry this down. You. So that's that front half or the back half out. I just need to spin it and get it off the rubber. Ta da! You might be surprised they might be dealer, or I mean, uh, Davenport item. Well, if, if Dodge knew what was good for them, they'd have every part in stock. <laughs> God. Well, that was easy. Now we gotta get on the phone. So yeah, that's a piece of rubber right there. It just pushes up into the block. That does all the sealing for you. And that guy there just holds the pipe in place so that it won't move. That stabilizes the other end of the pipe against the engine. And then there's a rubber hose that comes from the radiator with just a clamp. And our pinhole leak is uh, right in there somewhere. This was this was very close to uh, to leaking in a number of spots. I would imagine. Pretty sure I put one of these on my on my uh, 2006 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT at some point, but it's gone to the scrapyard now. Oh well. I'll show you guys where that pipe pushes up into. Not too bad, eh? It's actually nice and clean up in there. So when I go to uh, install the replacement pipe, we'll just lubricate the, uh, the O-ring a little bit, push it up in there. All right. So believe it or not, they had this part in stock at our local car parts place. There's the Dorman number, 626-304. Heater hose assembly. It's a water pump inlet pipe, basically. Nice. All right, get some snot for that gasket. What do you have that we can put on there? Just whatever, even a little bit, a little bit of grease from the grease gun, even. Grease guns right here. Enough. <laughs> Yummy. Ugh. Probably not necessary to do this, but I want it to push up in there easy. In easier. Put the rest of the grease in there. Dunk. Just put the 
Bolton, other end before you. Followed by here. <sighs> Two bolts and a hose clamp. That's it. Fill her up. <laughs> so we got that part for how much? 70 bucks? Yeah. And the actual Dodge dealership wanted 204. No thanks. Didn't get it tomorrow. And get it tomorrow, not today. <clears throat> well, why don't we do one jug of this and then a jug of water? Yeah, but the water in it already. In where? In the engine? Yeah, yeah. we wouldn't that, it. Wouldn't that all have drained out with the pipe gone? When I had that pipe disconnected? Well, not all of it, no. Okay. I would put, I don't know, you'd be surprised how much it won't take. <laughs> bluey, 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 bluey. I could put some in there too. So that it would take it on its own. The best vehicles are vehicles that are paid for. <laughs> Bloop. Soon, I guess. Fire it up. <clears throat> yeah, just make sure it doesn't come blasting up when I start it. It's leaking at the uh, at the hose clamp, which means there's probably some rust and crap on the inside of the pipe that I should have cleaned off first. I'm just gonna rinse it. Just no, we can. It's easy. There's a spigot right here. I mean, it's water is going back in it anyway, so who cares if it's water, but. Yeah, it's just, you can feel where there's and rust pieces on the actual pipe. Can we, um, wonder if I can put in there to clean it with. Pull the pipe forward and or push it on even further. Would it be bad to push the pipe on like 
further past the rough spot and then put the clamp on a different location that was smooth. I think that's probably got it, honestly. Put a little bit, of, dump some of that in there. I mean, there seemed to be enough of that hose, there enough of that hose left that I could just push it past, push it past the end stop on that metal pipe and see what happens. No light, no leaking. Nothing's leaking yet. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, no drips. The official coolant spigot. Oh, you guys get wet. There you go. No drips. It's still right full. It'll stay full now until it until the thermostat opens. Still the thermostat. Well, you want to go for a rip? Well, I guess we got to put the tire back on. <laughs> or just let it run. Will the thermostat open with it just running, idling? Yeah. I wonder how long that'll take. Probably not long. Get warm quickly if the block has no coolant in it. That's right. <laughs> it was probably time to flush the coolant in this thing anyway, according to the manufacturer's recommendations. <laughs> because we worry about that kind of stuff here. I wonder what the engine light means. Means it's running and it's a Dodge. Check engine lights are welcome on this vehicle because it means there's still electricity being delivered to the gauge cluster. Mm. Nothing's leaking out of anything, any connections that I've opened and closed. So those pads and everything are still good. They look okay. I mean, they, they might not be good, but they're brand new. Do the rest with a torque wrench. Do the torque there, just put them on tight. I'm gonna put them to a hundred foot pounds. And again, the will do the same thing. And then, and then remind everybody on YouTube that they should check the manufacturer's specifications for their own vehicle. Here we go. No, I don't trust those. Uh, Aluminum rims one bit. Really? How come? So we should go for a rip. 10 or 15 miles up the road and then uh, come back and tighten them again. Why? Why did you fix me? Let me die. Hmm. Now what? Go for a rip? I guess I'll just grab my wallet. Why? So you can buy more parts for it while we're out? Seatbelts. We don't we don't even have to jump into the back brakes on this thing right now anyways. It's because she never drives it. You guys should pull the camper to Quebec with this. That'll give the brakes a workout. But half the time that's what needs to happen is you gotta stand on these brakes every once in a while to get the calipers moving. If you're just barely touching the pedal. That caliper has a chance to seize before it actually, because it's not moving. The front rotors are nice and clean. This one here doesn't doesn't even look like it's been touching. So I guarantee you. And on the on the passenger side on the rear, about half of the rotor is is worn clean. So 
there's a problem back there waiting for us. Well, there you go. The Dodge Grand Caravan lives to ride another day. If you like videos of me working on my sister's hunk of crap, then smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be probably all sorts of content like that on this channel moving forward. But until next time, that's it. Have a good day, guys.